Hey guys, it's Dan and welcome back to Doki Cakes. I've been seeing a lot of smoothie bowls pictures on my Instagram feed, so this inspired me to try it out. <laughs> Today we'll be making a blue spirulina smoothie bowl, but not just any smoothie bowl. We'll be making this paño smoothie bowl. I think it turned out so adorable and the consistency and color is absolutely amazing. Are you ready to get started? All right then, let's get started. All right, so the first thing I did was that I Googled a picture of Pano, and I think this one was so adorable. I placed a piece of parchment paper on top of the image and I used chocolate candy melts to pipe in the outline. I don't know if you could see, but I was shaking a lot. I was extremely nervous because this is the first time that I've done this. I was like, oh, I hope I don't budge it up, but everything went smoothly. Now we're going to freeze this for five minutes. Well, that's freezy. We're gonna have a short review on Pano. Pano is a Studio Ghibli film and it is about a princess goldfish who is forbidden to see the surface world. One day she encounters a boy named Sosuke and really wants to become human. It really is a heartwarming story. I highly recommend it. I love it so much. Now we're going to move on with the other colors. I started piping the red and as you can see the outline moved a little bit. So please be careful while you're piping because you might move the outline. So do it slowly and patiently. Moving on with the white, I just cut a small tip on my piping bag and piped her tummy. And I repeated the same thing with the hair but using melted orange candy melts. For her skin tone, I melted white chocolate and added a tiny bit of orange and it really created this awesome skin tone. Again, be careful because the small pieces can move, so slowly and carefully pipe the entire face. Now I'm gonna go ahead and freeze this again for 10 minutes. Well, what should we do while we're waiting? Well, of course, we're gonna be watching some TV. I'm currently watching Cells at Work. I highly recommend this anime. I think it's so fun. Let's move on with the smoothie. I followed a recipe on Instagram and the things we will need are two frozen bananas. I thought they were not gonna fit in my tiny little blender. <laughs> and one tablespoon of blue spirulina. I just sprinkled it all around. And then I just cranked it up. But I noticed and obviously you will notice this too. It's starting to look like blue cottage cheese. And I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I was like, what's going on with it? Thankfully, I still had a little bit of coconut milk left. So I just added a splash of it and just prayed that this might work. And yes, it did. Immediately, it made this amazing smoothie consistency and the color is just so amazing. I bought this blue spirulina from Raw Nice and I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can check it out and they have other colors as well. I added my smoothie on a bowl and then I smoothed it out with a spoon. This was kind of fun actually. I was really going on a trip just like smoothing it out. Then I added some white sprinkles to mimic the bubbles and lastly we're gonna add our little paño. And voila, here's a Ponyo smoothie bowl. It turned out so cute and the consistency was amazing. And of course, it was super yummy. I ate it up. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun creating this, even though I was scared for a bit, but gladly everything turned out okay. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you have another anime theme that you want me to try, Leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Doki Cakes for more videos. See you next time. Bye bye.